Why don't birds get electric shock? Because of a number of important characteristics that are connected to the operation of electricity, the biology of birds, and the architecture of electrical systems, birds are able to perch on power wires without being severely injured or killed by electricity. The following video is an exploration of this wonderful phenomenon that we have produced. Number one, how electricity works. If electricity is powerful enough to light cities and kill on contact, why doesn't it affect birds sitting on high voltage wires? Understanding the notion of how electricity travels is essential in order to comprehend why birds do not experience the sensation of being shocked. It is necessary for electricity to flow across a whole circuit, and it always takes the channel that has the least amount of resistance. Conductors, a channel that goes back to the earth, and a power source are the components that make up a physical circuit. Because both of their feet are contacting the same wire, birds that land on a single power line are unable to complete the circuit because they are unable to complete the circuit. Electricity doesn't flow through the bird's body because the two places connected by the same wire via the bird have no change in electrical potential. In more layman's words, the body of a bird maintains the same electrical potential as the wire it is resting on, which prevents an electric current from traveling through the bird's body. Number two, anatomy of birds and natural insulation. The safety of birds on electricity wires is also influenced by a number of anatomical characteristics, including the following. Insulation provided by feathers birds have feathers that are constructed from keratin, which is a material that does not conduct electricity very well. On the website birdful.org, feathers provide the function of natural insulation, therefore lowering the probability that an electrical current would go through the bird's body. Having scaly feet, the feet of birds are coated in scales, which not only protect them from the effects of electricity, but also serve as an insulating barrier. These scales keep the current from penetrating the bird's body when it perches on a power line. Birds have tiny bodies, which reduces the possibility that they would contact more than one wire at the same time. However, birds have low resistance, which increases their compact size. Because electrical current flows by the route of least resistance, it is less probable that birds would come into contact with two distinct electrical potentials at the same time. This would result in the completion of the circuit, which would lead to electrocution. Absence of grounding. The absence of touch with the ground is the most important component in preventative measures against electrocution. If the feet of a bird were to come into contact with two wires that were of different voltages, or if the bird were to touch a power line while making contact with a grounded structure, like a utility pole, a full circuit would be made and the bird would be electrocuted. Birds, on the other hand, avoid completing the circuit by remaining on a single wire during their flight. Number three, exceptions and risks. What occurs when a bird accidentally contacts two wires simultaneously and why are some birds more likely to die from this collision than others? Even while birds are normally safe when they are on electricity wires, there are circumstances that might put them in danger. Interacting with two wires. If a bird happens to land on two power lines at the same time, particularly if the voltages of the lines are varied, it has the potential to complete the circuit, which would result in an electric shock. When it comes to bigger birds with wider wingspans or those who land on many wires at the same time, this is the primary reason for concern. Connecting with a structure that is grounded, the occurrence of a bird perching on a line and concurrently touching a grounded structure has the potential to complete the circuit, which might result in the bird being electrocuted. The reason for this is because birds should only make direct contact with the wire at all times. There is a possibility that bigger birds, such as eagles, vultures, and other large species, are in greater danger. This is because the wider wingspans of these birds enhance the potential that they may come into contact with several wires or a grounded structure. Power lines are a common source of hazard for large birds, and many of them end up dying from electrocution. Number four, why humans are at risk. Because of a number of factors, humans are more sensitive to electric shocks than other animals. Because of their bigger bodies, humans have a higher potential for electricity to flow through their bodies if they come into contact with two wires or a wire and a grounded item. Touch with the ground. In contrast to birds, people often have touch with the ground via their feet. 
which creates a pathway for electrical current to pass from the source of power through their body and into the ground. Number five, engineering solutions. The following are some of the ways that engineers have adopted to make electricity lines safer in order to reduce the danger that birds face. Bird diverters are devices that are mounted on electricity lines to make them more apparent to birds. They often include vivid colors or reflect light. Modifications to the design. In some locations, the design of power lines and poles has been modified to prevent birds from contacting two wires or a wire and a grounded structure at the same time. This is done to prevent birds from completing a circuit. Insulation like this helps to safeguard animals and reduces the likelihood that they may be electrocuted. Conclusion. A combination of the physics of electricity, the biology of birds, and the architecture of electrical systems is responsible for the fact that birds do not get electrocuted while they are on power lines. Birds are able to safeguard themselves because they do not complete the circuit necessary for electricity to travel through their bodies. Understanding how birds interact with electrical lines in a safe manner is a fascinating example of how nature and technology connect. Through the ongoing enhancement of safety measures, we can guarantee that birds and other forms of animals will not be harmed while coexisting with buildings that have been constructed by humans. Like, share, and subscribe for more.